great senior day uh, for Oregon State. I thought it was a great environment over here, and it's the same old story for us. I felt like, again, uh, we left points on the floor, particularly in the first half. We had excellent opportunities to score, uh, make a few more plays, which would make the game a little bit more interesting in the second half. But we're not doing it. They gave them a lot more confidence. I thought they played with a tremendous amount of freedom, freedom and energy in that second half. With a great crowd, great senior day for them. To what do you attribute Oregon State's growth as a program in these last two years under Tinkle? You're going to talk to Tinkle about that. I'm, I'm, I've just seen it on TV. The biggest thing is they get players. They, the fans are back, and his style of play is great. And that's what I can see from afar. But uh, you have to talk to him about what they've been in the inner workings. But they are a program. Uh, they've not been to the tournament now, I think, since 1990. 90, yeah. So just keep all that in mind right now, okay? Uh, he's on his way. They need to close out and do some things to have that opportunity. But that's a long time not to, not to have NCAA tournament opportunity for a school and for a program. As a coach, in what ways do Tinkle and Eubanks impress you as, as freshmen who are still contributing this late in the season? Say one more time. Eubanks and Tinkle, the two freshmen, the way they've been able to become such big contributors? I think they've become big contributors because they started out contributing. He had to play those freshmen early, and they've kind of gone through the fires. And now here they are playing at a high level, having gone through the season. We've had more veteran players in the program just now starting to give our freshmen more minutes as we come down the stretch of the season. Not a freshman, but Darian King starting the second half at the four spot. Is that, is that something you could see doing a lot of next year? Uh, it just depends. I mean, I've, I've been a guy that loves putting skill on the floor, playing small, getting up and down, playing a lot faster speed. I don't think we played very fast today. Uh, we tried to change some things up and put him on the floor so we get a little more offense on the floor. Do you feel you're on the right track as far as building a program there? Absolutely, and I've done this before. I've been through, we rebuilt St. Mary's and it's still a championship program today. We rebuilt Oregon and it's still a championship program today. Both of those programs had growing pains like this. They didn't have as many injuries as we had this year. The difference between the two programs, St. Mary's and Oregon had experienced winning in their history, in their past, over the course of the last three, four, five years. This team, this program has not experienced that. So you've got guys in the program Junior Long is Brett Bass that have never been on a winning team. Josh Hawkins and Ike Arabo, so therefore they do not know how to win. And you bring in new guys, nobody knows how to win at this level. You have to go through it, figure it out along the way before you get there. This conference takes a little bit of a dip next year. We get everybody back. We're going to go overseas this summer and play, hopefully learn how to win. We'll come back and reload it again and see where we're at. So uh, we've got a lot of work done for less than 24 months on the job. We've come a long way because we've graduated everybody in the program from the old regime. Everybody's on track to graduate. We're building our fan base again. We have to build a recruiting base again. We have to put in a style of play. There's a lot that goes into turning these programs, but it doesn't happen overnight. But we feel like we're headed in the right direction. Which country are you going to visit during the summer? We're going to Northern Italy this summer. Did you get any feedback from Val on what happened when he got hit? They just got tangled up. Just the basketball play, nothing big. And Charles bumped knees. He should be okay too. Be okay. Yeah. Thanks.